What's going on, everybody? Well, I got the video now up for all this for the all-exclusive PSA 10 Club. Uh, it took me a little bit to get this done. If you guys watched the video that I posted late last night, it kind of explains why. But let's talk about the 10,000 Club. So on top, we got five that are in the 20,000 Club, with Charizard being the number one card. Overtook Zion. 2018 Tops update Akuna has now shifted up above, or Soto has shifted above the Akuna. Surprise, surprise on that one there. Uh, trying to think what else I saw that was kind of crazy onto this stuff here. Still got a lot of Lou Bobs being graded from his rookie year. We'll continue probably seeing that through this month as well. Uh, a lot of this stuff, we're probably not going to see the numbers start spiking again till bulk goes up from what I'm looking at. A lot of this is still bulk that was out there. Uh, looking at some of the stuff, I mean, Griffey uh, tops traded. I think it was something like 77,000 have been graded. So, I mean, even though 12, almost 13,000 is a big number, it even gives you a bigger um, spectrum how big that is because I got like 10 of them behind me that I think are going to grade out. I mean, if I can grade half of my 10s, I'm happy, but that's a harder one to grade even though the pop count's high. I think it's still around a $100 card. I haven't really checked much on it, but I'm just waiting for a bulk to submit that stuff in. Trying to look here. There was something else that caught my eye on this. If you start looking at the percentages, as such as like 2019 Prism, remember that was the year we started with uh, the Zion Morant rookies, but with the uh, centering issues, the rookie card emblem not being on there and stuff, it kind of gives you an idea, you know, it's above, well, just a tad if you go through them all, above the 50 percentile. Even stuff like uh, 2020 tops. Look how all that stuff's all starting to come back now. And those numbers are starting to go up big time, especially the Bichettes, um, Kyle Lewis, Alvarez, all that stuff. There, our favorite Gavin Lux. Uh, surprisingly, the Trey Young Prism rookie still staying way below 12,000. But my guess is that a lot of those went BGS. And that's probably why there's not a big shift in the number two onto it. One day I want to really, I wish I could pull something that would have like PSA, Beckett, and SGC onto this. But I think it would take a lot more time. Maybe somewhere during the summer I might do that to where we can at least have this and maybe Beckett pop counts with some of these two to show... The overall, like, production of this stuff, how crazy it had to be. I mean, just looking at the Charizards, you know, if they're at a 56% uh, uh, PSA 10, there's over 40,000 of those graded already. It's insane how many promos came out of that stuff. But, guys, if you want, go ahead and hit pause so you can look through this stuff. I promise I wouldn't make this a long video today to myself because I wanted to get a few things accomplished. Uh, Saturday afternoon, I haven't said time yet, I'll be on whatnot. I got all kind of lot, <clears throat> excuse me, lots that are sitting right here that I got to go through, like Herbert's this year's Bowman, all kind of stuff. So that's going to be the whatnot stuff for this Saturday. I'm possibly coming live tonight. So if you see me popping on about, hmm... I don't know what time the hockey game is. I'm a bad content creator. Yep, I used that word. Because I didn't know what else I could use there. And it's been one of the things that's been a tip of my tongue. Uh, hockey game tomorrow starts at 7. So if I come on, it'll be after the Pittsburgh Ranger game. Probably looking like 9.30ish. If I do, it's going to be mid and high end, uh, probably about 20, 25 cards tops. Just to offer to you guys for the price, I'm going to be selling them at the show for the following Saturday. I uh, figured I'd do that real quick. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, as soon as the hockey game's done, I'll pop on. So probably about 9.30 at 10 o'clock, unless there's like triple overtime. If it goes anywhere past single overtime, I probably will not make it on. I'll be honest on that part. 
If that happens, we'll push it to Saturday night after I get done live, whatnot in the afternoon. I'll come on Saturday night. But just keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that. All right, everybody. Have a good, safe weekend, and I'll catch you all next video.